JavaScript in short tutorials of around three minutes or less. And the thing we are looking at today, or the problem we're trying to solve, is um, how to write unit tests inside of uh, Google Apps Script. Previous video showed how to, to install the library, how to get your file structure set up. And now we're actually diving in and looking at some unit tests. So, uh, and you can copy this um, app, standalone app script from the description, I'll put it in there. So diving in, looking at this uh, test for code.js file here, um, I've included some new items here. So we have a function here called tests, and this is referenced here on line nine under qunit.load, uh, that's the tests. And then uh, in here on line 15 and 16, we're actually calling two, uh, two tests. The first one here is all things are equal, and the second one here is uh, it adds 10. So all things are equal are self-contained, so I can explain what's happening. Um, so the first uh, function here is to call the test, and that takes a callback function um, as well. Um, so you can name the test here. So things are the same, that's the name of the test. And then uh, you test for equality. So here we've got one thing. Um, so this is the first thing here, the first argument. And then this is the second argument. And it will test to see if the first argument or the second argument are the same. And then the third argument here is the output, uh, output, uh, the output text. So when I run this, uh, this test now, you can see that we have the, this first test is failing. Um, and there's information about why it's failing here. Um, but you'll see that the success test hasn't shown up. So we go back to here and make this one, these two the same. And then save that and run again. And we can see that the test passed. And then when I click on there, uh, it shows that success test. So that's uh, that's a self-contained test. And don't forget that it's called here as well. Then this one here is actually testing a function. So the same thing, it gets called up here. And then uh, we give it a name. It adds 10 to any uh, any number. And then there's a callback function here, and then it's equal to add 10. Uh, and then this is a function that is actually in a different location here in the code.js. Uh, so add 10, and then it returns whatever the number is plus 10. And then my success text here is success, uh, success, it added, it added 10. So we save this and run. And click on here. And you should see uh, success it added 10. So that's how you, um, the basics of how you test uh, functions um, inside of uh, Google Apps Script. I hope this is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And you can find links to the, to the code in the description.